Now lessons today we are going to show you how the transitions in iMovie 2016. So to access the transitions, you need to go into transitions. As you can see, you have uh, various transitions that you can use in iMovie. So we're going to start with uh, cross the resolve and then uh, go to the ripple. And I will show you some settings and how to use the transitions. So you can double click on the transition to actually add it immediately into the place you want. <laughs> So actually, let me uh, split this, and if I want a transition somewhere here, I can just add a double click on it when I actually put this slider onto the area I want to put the transition. So, wait a second. So yeah, that's the first thing to do. So there's a cross dissolve, cross blur, uh, fade to black, uh, fade to white, spin in, uh, spin out, cross open, Circle close, doorway, <laughs> swap, cube, mosaic, wipe left, <coughs> wipe, wipe right, wipe up, wipe down, <laughs> slide left, slide right, puzzle left, puzzle roll right, page curl left, page curl right, cross zoom, and ripple. So the drawback with adding positions is that if you are on a computer where it is, if you're not on iMac or something that is uh, on the Apple's high end with a distinct the graphics card like a Radeon HD or something like that, um, you will end up actually give a bit slowing down the iMovie by adding some transitions sometimes. It could be a little bit slow, makes it slower, but. It makes it, I'm really a, a tiny bit slower. It could, do, as you see, it's a little bit choppy the transition right now. Even though QuickTime should not take the too much power of by a, a computer. So yeah, so yeah, this slows it down a bit. So yeah, what editing on a laptop, or I mean that is on Apple's lower end, you might end up having this uh, problem with. Uh, uh, transition uh, with your transitions. Also, transitions are useful for actually uh, my for lessons. Let me say I use uh, this. Uh, if I'm making a lesson with frames, I use like sort of, I use I use the uh, <clears throat> I uh, might use the yeah. Uh, so cross, uh, I mean, say cross the resolve or something like that to actually do, to uh, um I uh, cross the resolve or or even actually um. Uh, wipe left, yeah. Actually, I usually use wipe left, right, wipe right for my YouTube videos that are based upon um, the lessons that actually use a uh, single frames. Yeah. So yeah, actually, that is the interesting part. So, um, well, which is uh, you can uh, it's still not it's not exactly very easy to adjust the timings of your transitions because, uh, as you can see. Uh, is he's not? I mean, so you can adjust the tra timings of your transitions. So as, so I'm like trying to put the timings, but I mean, say, if you, I, I mean, say it is not easy. So I actually trying to adjust the times of the transition. It is not easy. Um, See, because I cannot find that you cannot use any slider or anything. So, for example, you want a cross dissolve transition, and uh, there are usually uh, there, there is no um, way to adjust the timing of it. Uh, uh, so, yeah, actually, there is not that many settings for the transition, uh, as you can see. There's no um, over transition that would make you overdo your uh, iMovie project because if you are like if you're a professional that no, not exactly professional because iMovie is not for professionals if you are someone who knows a little bit of your editing or you want to make something like a professional of uh, the unprofessional side you should not use overdo transitions you can use some subtle transitions like circle but circle close yeah eh? you should not overdo transitions uh, so I mean, say actually, <laughs> so here are some transitions. Say uh, mosaic would uh, actually uh, cut the, uh, the frames, which uh, like into pieces. 
um, as you can see here, for sure, and there is a lot of choppiness going on right now with the transitions um, on the uh, on it's going on right now. But yeah, I would say it. I mean, it could it would usually lag. I think it will. It will not lag. It will just slow, make the frames lower. But if, when you render this, it will be smooth. It depends on what frame rate you have, uh, three or sixty, or uh, with the bit rate the original video footage so for example if you have a lower bit rate you would uh, end up having a little bit more choppier for frames within a higher bit rate um i i right now i'm on 60 frames for 1080p 60 frames per second so it should be relatively smooth and also i record at 1080p 60 frames per second yeah so this is the transitions in imovie uh the, also i will just I, I also going to, to show you something else. So, um, if you want to add transitions on the uh, for things on on top to the here, and you can use the transition that you can see here. Uh, you can't; it just goes down. So, uh, instead, there is a slider, which, as you can see here. Uh, See here when we just adjust it in this case, and there is a slider uh, for. Um, uh, for actually the, the, the transitions, uh, as you see here, so it will just fade in and fade out. That's all. It's super basic. It's just not going to do anything with it right now. <laughs> now, so uh, yeah, actually, that proves that iMovie isn't professional for uh, re editors because it's free. No, you're not paying money for it. Before. It comes with your Mac. So yeah. Um. So actually, yeah, this is transitions to iMovie. So thank you for watching this video. Bye.